The Miwa U9 is a Japanese high security lock which was introduced in the year 2000. It is composed of nine levers which are separated by spacers. Each lever can be installed on an internal rod in one of two directions, either from the left or from the right. In this lock, levers four, six, and seven are mounted from the right and the rest are mounted from the left. When we examine a cross section of the U9, we can see the spacers and the upper rod which serves as the axis upon which the levers rotate. Let's install a lever with the attached spring in the left orientation. If we push the lever to the left, it will rotate about its mounted axis. It also moves the bottom of the lever, which has elements that interact with the sidebar. Let's take a close look at the bottom of this lever. In this lever, we see a true gate, serrations, and a false gate. Let's take a look at another example. When we pick lever 5, which is oriented from the left, the sidebar will first interact with a false gate, followed by serrations, and finally the true gate. When all the true gates of the nine levers are in alignment by either the insertion of a key or when picked successfully, the sidebar will be able to retract into the true gates and the core can then rotate. The U9 keyway has the shape of a W. We can use this point as a fulcrum when picking the left levers. The pick will be maneuvered in this direction. We can use this point as a fulcrum when picking the right levers. The pick will be maneuvered in this direction. The tension wrench can be placed in the far right or the far left of the keyway. It would make the most sense to place it opposite of the first lever so that the first lever can be easier to access and pick. Finally, the U9 is a very complex lock which cannot be progressively pinned as most locks can. Therefore, I have devised a method to progressively learn this lock by filing down the sidebar in a progressive manner. This is the U9 sidebar and the relative positions of the sidebar that interact with each of the nine levers. If we file down the sidebar, it would only engage and interact with a limited amount of levers. This sidebar will only interact with levers six through nine. This sidebar will interact with levers one through three. This one will interact with levers one through six. And finally, this sidebar will interact with all of the levers. In this manner, you can progressively sidebar the lock. Okay, let's get to picking. We are going to have a split screen view with a panel to the left showing the internal view from the rear of the lock. I'm placing my tension wrench on the right side because the first lever is on the left side and I want to give myself ample room when it comes time to pick it. I'm using a modified Peterson hook number one with its shaft thinned out. I'm going to start with the levers on the left. All right, getting a couple of clicks out of uh, lever five. I'm going to go and that's lever three and lever two. Not really binding. So I'm going to try a couple more times. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we're going to switch over to the right side. Okay, that's lever seven. Click. Six and four. Those are set. We're going to go back to the left. Trying to get lever three and two. Just a nope. bunch of stuff just dropped. Okay, so resetting number five. Back to three and two. They just they they don't want to be set. Okay, going back to the right. Seven, six, four. Click, click, click. I'm trying to press in number three and two again. Okay. 
that's eight, nine, and good click at an eight. And we're back at three. Oh, heard something. Let's check in the back. Eight, nine, eight. And back to eight, nine. Hmm. Okay, let's try the other side one more time. Those guys are all set. Back at that. That was three and we're open. Nice. All right, let's take out this tension wrench. Grab this guy out of the vise. Okay. Lock her back up. Finger on the sidebar. Let's take a good look at the sidebar, make sure that it's unmodified. There it is in all its glory. Take out the spring, and this is all the levers in action. With the key out, we're back in. Try to get a better view out of the shade there. Okay, we got a little shadow, so out and in. Turn that around. Well, I think that's it. We are done. I hope that you enjoyed this pick. Uh, if you did, I would love you to subscribe. And I'll see you at the next video. All right, guys. Thanks.